Hey everybody, Catholic Gardener here. Um, so it's been a cold winter and a very long winter it seems like. And I'm ready to reveal to you guys what I plan to try to grow this year during the gardening season. Um, last year was not so great for me. <laughs> I had lots of little obstacles that caused me some problems. So hopefully this year will be a little bit better. So first, I'll start with the plants that I start or that I plan to grow, and then I'll show you some of the new stuff I'm going to grow um, this year. That I just got some seeds in the mail, and I'm so excited about them. So I'll share those last. Um, so first, we'll just start with spring. So I plan on growing peas this year. I wanted to last year, and it didn't work out. So we'll see how it goes this year. I'm going to do the now or later peas and little marvel. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, I love lettuce, so we're going to grow some lettuce again. Um, our favorite is Caesar, so I'm going to do the giant Caesar and the Paris Island romaine. And um, I'm going to do bunching onions again, so I'm going to do those. We love green onions. I'm going to try a couple different onions this year. I don't know how it's going to go, but... Um, some red onions and some yellow sweet onions. Um, I'm, I don't know. I haven't, I have not grown those type of onions before, so I hope it turns out good. Any advice would be great. <laughs> um, of course I'm going to do beets. We love beets, um, especially pickled beets. Me and my son do. So I'm going to grow those again. The dwarf blue curled kale, which worked really good for us last year. So we'll do that again. I think next year I'm going to try a new one, but I'm trying not to be, uh, I don't know, overconfident <laughs> with my growing abilities this year. So we'll try a different one next year. And then we'll grow some carrots as well. Okay, so um, I'll move on to, I'll go ahead and do our flowers. So... Um, I love African daisies. I've grown them over the past few years. Um, I've never grown them from seed before, so this will be a first. I'm going to try to start them indoors um, and see how that goes. I think I tried them last year, and I wasn't very successful, so I hope it's better this year. Um, the Johnny Jump Ups, we just really love the name. Obviously, we have, well, I shouldn't say obviously. I guess like, I guess I should explain. So my grandfather's name was Johnny, and so is our uh, son that we lost eight years ago. So I just really love the name, so I thought, well, I'll grow it in their honor. So we'll see how that goes this year. I did try to grow it last year, and I didn't see anything come up. So I don't know if I should start it. Um, indoors and see if that will help. Okay. And then of course marigolds. We grew these last year and they were awesome. They were all over the place and hopefully they helped the garden. Um, painted daisies. Now I planted these last year um, and as you can see it's 180 to 300 days to bloom. So I'm hoping we'll see something this year. So, But I'll try to grow some new ones again to get some started for next year. Um, I just love the idea that they're perennials and I love daisies and I just love the extra bit of color that you would get in these daisies so I can't wait. Um, we love zinnias. Uh, this is the pinwheel mix. I tried planting this last year and nothing came up which was so weird because normally zinnias are very easy to grow and for me they usually come up you know really well so I don't know what happened but I'll try them again and I'm also going to do the early bird I just thought this mix looked really pretty um, and of course I'm also going to do my grandma's uh, descendant seeds that my uncle gave me I'll do those again too I'm trying to keep them separate than my others in so I can know the difference so I can save the seeds and then I'm going to also try the oriental poppy now I won't be able to see the blooms until next year um, but at least I'll get it started. Okay, and let's move on to summer stuff. So I grew the Armenian cucumber last year, and they were awesome. They were huge. They were very crunchy. I really love them a lot, so I'm definitely doing these again. My uncle gave me these seeds, and I'm just so grateful because... 
they were really, really great. And I shared them with family too, because I just had an overabundance and they're huge. So, um, you know, not just us could eat them. <laughs> um, I'm going to do some more green beans this year. Um, mine last year didn't turn out so well. Um, I'm going to try to start them indoors this time. This is a bush bean, um, but I'd really like to try a pole bean. So if you guys could tell me your favorite pole bean, I will try to look for it and try to grow it um, and see which one I should grow. Um, I'm going to do the Sumter cucumbers. These were really great for me last year, very abundant, So, and I loved them. I loved how small they were. Um, the flavor was great, so doing those again for sure. I think I have another cucumber here. Yes, straight eights, so we'll do that. We also grew that last year, and those did well. Um, last year I failed at trying to grow watermelon, <laughs> and I'm really going to try to do it better this time and see if I can make it work, make it happen, because my son loves watermelon, and he's been really wanting me to try to grow some, so I've got to try to keep fighting for him, right? <laughs> so I'm going to try again. Um, now I'm going to do uh, the tomatoes. So my uncle gave me some seeds a couple years ago, and I planted some last year. Um, from the get-go, I just didn't have a good start with lighting, and then once they were in the ground, it was just uh, my soil wasn't good, so it was, just, it was just bad all around. So I'm hoping this year will be better again, once again, for these two. So this is the indigo rose tomato. I'll be growing that. The purple Cherokee, I did get a couple of these at least by the end of the season last year, so I was happy about that, and they were really delicious, so I definitely want to grow those again. Um, the Brandywine Red, I have yet to take a bite of one of these, and I want to really badly, so trying that again. <laughs> and the Jet Stars, those did really good for me last year. I had a few of those, and we had tomatoes up until frost, so it was wonderful. And then, of course, the super sweet cherry tomatoes. We love cherry tomatoes. Okay, and now we'll move on to other, oh, we'll move on to the herbs. So I saved my own dill seeds last year, um, so I'll be growing that again. It was really easy to save the seeds, by the way. Um, I'll be doing uh, cilantro again. We love cilantro. It seemed like we just didn't have enough last year, so try to grow more of it. Rosemary. Now, I tried to start these from seed last year, and I didn't realize how difficult it is. Um, I'll try again, but last year I ended up having to just buy plants because this just it was just really hard to get them to germinate. So try it in, I'm going to try it indoors and see if that will help. Um, parsley. Now we have some that we had in the ground last year, so they'll be coming up again for their last year this year. Um, and they'll start, you know, flowering and going to seed. Um, so I'll make sure to plant some more so I can just keep it going. We use a lot of parsley. Um, chives. I also have a couple of these in the ground, but once again, I'll probably start some more because we love the chives. Um, we use them in a lot of recipes. I'm definitely an herb girl, so. <laughs> and then basil. I can never get enough basil. I had probably like, I don't know how many plants last year. Maybe 11. I don't know. <laughs> and I just kept picking it all year long, giving it away, using it. Um, we love it. So we'll do that. And, of course, we have mint out in the garden, and we have thyme. I planted a new thyme plant last year, so hopefully we'll get some good thyme growing from that. And now I get to show you guys the seeds that I just got in the mail and I just ordered uh, from this company for the first time. And I'm just so impressed even just by their packaging. Um, so I ordered from Baker Creek Heirloom Seed and Company. Um, I'm sure you guys are familiar with them. So I'll show you this one. This one is the Jalapeno Craig's Grande. So these are supposed to be a large jalapeno and I love jalapenos. So I'm really looking forward to this and I hope that they're nice and spicy. I wanna grow uh, corn for the first time this year. Now I have a dilemma. So you guys tell me what you think. I want to grow popcorn, but I also wanna grow Country Gentleman 
And I also want to grow <laughs> the glass gym. Now, the problem with that is I have a small garden and I don't want them to cross pollinate. I do have a plan if I were to grow a couple of these at, at, the, at a time uh, to prevent the cross pollination, but I'm kind of undecided. I'm either gonna grow just one this year or I'm gonna try to grow at least a couple. So if you guys have any advice on that, please let me know. Tell me what you think I should do. <laughs> um, but this one's the Popcorn Mini Pink. Um, I just thought they looked so pretty. And don't you guys love the packaging? I mean, just the pictures are beautiful. Um, so I'm really excited to try that when I'm able. <laughs> um, and then here is the Country Gentleman. It's a white corn. And they're not like in perfect rows, but that's what I thought was really kind of neat about it. Um, and then I'm going to do uh, the Bullnose Sweet Pepper for bell peppers this year. I'm going to try a new tomato called the Hungarian Heart, and they're supposed to be pretty big. Um, so they're from Budapest, Hungary, around, and it originated around 1900, so I'm excited to try that. Let me know if you've grown that and how you liked it. And then we're going to do the Burmese okra. So I don't know how different this is than the okra that I've grown before. Um, but I thought I would try to grow it from seed again this year and see how that goes. And last but not least, and I'm sure I might change my plans before the growing season, but I got these free seeds when I ordered my seeds from Baker Creek. Um, I do not know how to pronounce that. Tomato black sage maybe. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm going to try these too. So anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think and tell me what you guys are growing in your garden this year. Anything new and exciting, please share. Thanks guys.